So for today, we're going to be starting the weapon reviews videos. I've been taking too long on this, but I have had other projects in mind. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, I'm doing Elden Ring and Dying Light 2 as well. I'm also still working on Final Fantasy 14 because I have a really big project for that one and maybe Lost Ark. So again, I do apologize that my Destiny 2 videos are not coming as fast as I usually put them out. But again, I am really, really busy. So we're going to be doing the weapon reviews. I'm going to be splitting a lot of these up into separate videos. The Foundry weapon specifically because most of the time people are going to be interested in one foundry and not all of them and honestly it's just going to be easier for me to do this because these videos are going to be literally like maybe five to ten minutes not even that long like probably eight minutes pushing it just because there's three weapons on each foundry so don't think i'm just doing this just to extend more content it's just it literally helps me um make these videos a little bit faster so i do apologize if you were expecting a big chunk a big video of just the foundry weapons but again it's going to be easier for me editing and just everything else so i do apologize but if you guys like the videos like comment and subscribe really does help and let's just get right into it so the first weapon i'm going to be looking at is crate it is a kinetic auto rifle and it's a stasis auto rifle which is really good because we don't have a stasis auto rifle uh we didn't have one now we do the perks on them is pretty cool as well obviously again with the new perks and specifically the origin traits i will always i will always have the trait in some corner i don't know where i'm st i haven't edited it yet but I'll have them somewhere and probably right on top of the randomals maybe. So as for the new perks, I'm gonna have them all uh, lined up so that way you guys can see what they do and we'll go through them obviously. So for the first row we're gonna be looking at is auto loading holster, overflow, stats for all, subsistence, steady hands, and compulsive reloader for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be headstone, focused fury, moving target, one for all, vorpal weapon, and adagio. So, the first perk we're going to look at is stats for all. Hitting three separate targets increases weapon handling, stability, reload, and range for a moderate duration. This is going to pair really well with one for all, obviously, because they both stack the same, or they both proc the same way. Hitting three separate targets increases damage for a moderate duration. Uh, so, this is going to be an obvious pairing for a lot of people. The next one is going to be steady hands kills provide improved handling for all weapons for a short duration this one's pretty good uh mostly going to be used for pvp honestly i i think so at least because improved handling is cool but i don't just i don't see me wasting uh a slot for just that when there's subsistence overflow stats for all even so i think this is just going to be a much better choice for pvp and then Compulsive Reload uh, grants increased reload speed when close to full magazine. Which is pretty cool because I know a lot of people are Compulsive Reloaders. They'll shoot like, they'll get a few kills and then immediately reload. So you're just going to be immediately banking from just more uh, reload speed, which is pretty cool. And then for the last row, the only one new one is Focused Fire. Dealing half of the magazine as precision damage grants this weapon bonus damage. The shot count is reset whenever the weapon is reloaded or stowed. This one's pretty cool because there's a few reloads in the game that don't count as reloads. Specifically, the one I'm thinking about is the uh, transversive steps. That one does not count as a reload. Unfortunately, the hunter dodge does count as a reload. So I'm thinking, does transversive step reset the focused fire also subsistence is another question because it does reload but it doesn't do a full reload so i don't know if it actually counts or not i would be interested in that and honestly uh like i said stats for all and one for all is going to be something people will go for subsistence and focused fire uh or one for all even vorpal weapon i think i see people going for i personally have overflow and vorpal weapon i like that pairing a lot so uh aside from all of that let's look at the actual vice stinger which is the origin trait damaging an enemy any little damaging an enemy with this weapon has a small chance to reload the magazine and increase movement speed while aiming down sights bows receive faster draw speed and swords receive faster charge rate while this perk is active which is pretty cool because we don't have a bow and we don't have a sword so that's probably in future seasons. We're probably going to get those two. Uh, again, Vice Stinger, pretty cool. Uh, I've seen it per proc a few times, and it's pretty interesting. 
overall this is probably one of my favorite weapons from vanilla destiny 2 just because uh it was fun it was a good auto rifle at the time and i love how it reloads i love pretty much everything about the gun itself so that's pretty much it for crate let me know what you guys think in the comments below but next one is gonna be funnel web funnel web is a submachine gun in the energy slot a void submachine gun as well so any of you guys who have wanted wanted to use a void submachine gun now is your time as for the perks themselves let's go through the first row which is perpetual motion uh killing wind subsistence auto loading holster steady hands and pulse monitor for the first row for the second row it's going to be thresh focused fire frenzy adrenaline junkie elemental capacitor and range finder so i first and foremost i have subsistence and frenzy i think that's a pretty cool one i personally don't like frenzy though because i like i like to have a i like to have a perk that i can actually activate when i want to not when it it deems it's finally you know combat so for me personally i would probably go subsistence and adrenaline junkie just because not only does it proc from you hitting something or killing something with it but it also procs from grenade kills which is exactly like uh swashbuckler so i would probably be hunting for subsistence and adrenaline junkie not saying frenzy is bad by all means it's actually pretty good it's just again i i would rather have the control now that being said if subsistence doesn't proc the focused fire reload then it's focused fire and subsistence hands down uh, for PvP, you probably want to do Steady Hand. Not even Steady Hand. I Maybe. That's... Mm, I don't know. Perpetual Motion's pretty cool. And Killing Wind is really cool as well. But I do see people going for Steady Hand just to, like, finish kills. And then you'll... That's the cool thing is I can see people switching to the SMG to either finish people off or just use it as your main weapon. And then you're just getting... Uh, improved handling over and over and then at that point you can have a yeah you can have a an aggressive shotgun and then you'll be getting bonus handling from that and then yeah i can see that happening i, I can definitely see it happening steady hands with elemental capacitor would be interesting if you're if you're rocking an arc uh, subclass as well because then your your handling is all, all the way up but yeah, I don't, not much to say about this one, honestly. Again, I'm not going to go through the new perks. I'm just going to have them up. But, uh, again, my 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 choice would probably be Subsistence and Focused Fury. For PvP, uh, I would probably go with Killing Wind and Rangefinder, maybe. I think that's a pretty good one. Just because, well, no, Adrenaline Junkie is pretty good. Maybe maybe Killing Wind and, range, and Adrenaline Junkie, maybe. Uh, that's pretty much it. This is also one of my favorite SMGs from the game. Uh, not surprising, Vice is literally one of my favorite uh, foundries, so again, I'm not surprised. Uh, next one is going to be the Rad, the Redback 5SI. It is a sidearm in the energy slot, a solar weapon as well, and the perks are... I mean, to be fair, I'm not a really big fan of sidearms, uh, unless they're a certain frame. So, let's look at the perks themselves. So, Subsistence, Tunnel Vision, Stats for All... Perpetual Motion, Compulsive Reloader, and Killing Wind for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Turnabout, uh, One for All, Opening Shot, Rampage, Forpal Weapon, and Surrounded. So, Turnabout. Using this weapon to break the shield of a combatant or guardian using their super will grant you an overshield. This one's terrible. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. At least for PvP, it's pretty terrible. For PvE, it's pretty cool, I guess. But... For PvP, I just don't see this being a good perk for a sidearm. Uh, if we're talking about sidearm, I think Subsistence and Rampage is pretty wild. That's going to be a really nutty perk, especially for something like this. Uh, again, Subsistence and Rampage is just weird. I just, I don't, I, I'm probably going to go for that role just because it's going to be nutty for sure. Uh Obviously, a stats for all and one for all is going to be the perk that most people are going to be going for just because why would you not? But overall, I'm not really a big fan of sidearms. So for me, I'm just kind of like whatever's on this. Uh, Killing Wind and Opening Shot would be interesting to see how much range you actually get because if you guys don't know, Killing Wind uh, grants increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration after a final blow. So 
on top of opening shot i wonder how much range you'll actually get if you get like a max range weapon plus killing wind and opening shot but that's pretty much it for the vice weapons let me know what you guys think in the comments below again i'm gonna do each foundry separate so that way it doesn't like make it basically it's gonna help me push out fat videos faster so let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you for understanding hopefully and i will see you guys later